All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're testing out Jedi Survivor on the AMD 7600 XT. Um, we're going to go ahead and run this bad baby with, uh, let's see, no um, upscaling. We're going to use ray tracing off epic settings at 1440p. And we will go ahead and see how this is going to run. Uh, we will have AMD's fluid motion frames running at the same time. Uh, kind of curious to how this game is going to handle that. Don't think I've actually tested fluid motion frames on this game to date on any of these cards. So I'm curious. I'm quite curious. Already off to a terrible start, of course. This game is just so unoptimized still. Look at this. We're still like right around 30 frames per second. 82% GPU utilization. I mean, fluid motion frames is... I mean, it works perfectly in a straight line. Zero issues with that. But dang, this game is a stuttering bubbling mess still all right so we're not gonna get 1440p native out of this at epic settings so let's try full HD first definitely a little bit closer much smoother at 1080p of 50 frames as long as it stays fairly consistent for the most part this here is the heaviest part of the game is like right in here so if we can this is that's why I test this game through here because this is like the ultimate worst so, I mean, at epic settings, without FSR anything on, I want to see if we can get back up there to uh, 1440p. And let's see what, let's see if, uh, f let's see if, Fidelity FX will do us any good. Balance seems to be a good show for this. Dang, this game does not want to uh, give up them frames easily, does it? You would almost think that freaking ray tracing is still enabled. I think ray tracing is still enabled. No, it can't be. Maybe it is. Just make sure. Because it seems to be something that uh, please wait till process is complete. All right, let's check it out now. Ah. 
Dang, I wonder if they'll ever fix this game. Why does it run like trash? <laughs> uh, it's been out almost a freaking year and it still runs like this. I mean, what more would you expect from EA, though? All right, let's try full HD. I mean, this does make it a lot smoother. I mean, if you've got to have your freaking ray tracing, 40 frames a second's not bad for this experience, to be completely honest. It's not as fluid as obviously as like 60 frames a second, but I mean, with fluid motion frames, it is helping it, unless you, until you start turning the camera, of course, obviously, because you're under 60. I recommend about 70 ish for that. Um, let's see what we can let's see what we can do, man. I want this to be a playable experience. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to 1440p because I like that resolution. That gives us a pretty uh, that 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 absolutely looks better with um, that absolutely looks better with uh, graphics quality. Let's try it on the medium. We'll do the field of gosh dang it. Do the uh, field of view at default. Ray tracing on balanced. All right, let's try that. I want to see what we're gonna get out of this. Wow. So ray tracing absolutely cripples the performance at 1440p, but it doesn't seem to trash it at 1080p. So that is interesting. Let's try, let's go back to 1080p. I'm just destroying my settings. That freaking run is so annoying looking. This is absolutely terrible important performance for a game like this. Found it. What now? Let's get rid of that freaking ray tracing, man. <sighs> ray tracing is just awful on this. It's not doing us any freaking good whatsoever. And all it was doing was destroying the image quality. try I want to try poor K if this is even gonna work Huh. Dude, this does not want to freaking work. This 
see this game here, man. Sometimes you can get See now this game right here obviously the the 120 bit 28 bit bus is really screwing with this game big time. This is one that you can clearly tell that going up in resolution is really crippling this card this is a 1080p this is a max 1080p game for this card 1440p is too heavy for this one as well it's saying recommended but Obviously, that's not right. So, uh, 1080p is the, uh, the best one for this game. Okay, let's try it down. Frame rate should start going up pretty rapidly. Should be able to get over 60 at freaking low settings. This is freaking pitiful. 68% GPU utilization, now we're at 88. So low settings. to open this mustache came all the way down here from mustachio I mean if you want to play this at 1080p low you can obviously do that it doesn't look too terrible This is the first game that's like really, really had a problem, but I want to see something. If we go back down to. Oh. 
so it looks like the uh, FSR wasn't really doing this any good. So 1080p high settings. All right, let's get back out to our 1080p low settings. Would generally like to have max settings at 1080p. Let's see. Or at least high. So. If we can stay around 60 with high settings, then I would say that's a, that's a win for this, but it looks like we are just going to be under that. At least in terms of this area. Dude, we're at like 14 gigs of VRAM at 1080p high settings. freaking drops to this game is just very poorly optimized yeah I mean you would think it would run better on this card Seriously, to be completely honest with you, this is just a little bit better than what you get on Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, that is more optimized over there. I mean, you can almost get a 1440p 30 frames a second with ray tracing enabled. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is a... I'm going to have to say this is a bad representation for the uh, the AMD card on this one oh, that sucks I was hoping that this one here would finally be fixed so I could start recommending this game more to everyone but it's PC freaking performance is still bad even on every every card I've played this game on it is not great Throwing more power at it is absolutely useless. It does not do any good except for to lower settings and find a way to make it playable. I mean, this is playable, but yeah, I don't know. So, all right, my friends, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.